Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Be by HC and yeah, in case this is your first time, and yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys called rhythm, called progression rhythm. So, if you haven't watched the part one of this video, click on the link at the right hand side and go watch the part one where I showed five different chord rhythms that you can use to make Afro beats. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you another five chord rhythms that you can use to make Afro beats and Afro piano. I had to throw a little bit of Afro piano into the mix because, yeah, that's what is trending right now. So, yeah, let's say you want to make that kind of Victoni, Low J kind of vibe. Um, this is the first rhythm, and this is what the rhythm sounds like for Vitoni and Loja kind of vibe um yeah so that's yeah and for this one we're making use of the chords um la so do fa so that's la la So you can see what this sounds like and we're just basically using the last so do fa chord progression and if you're also having issues in music theory um i think you should also click on the link on the right hand side or go to my channel to my playlist um music theory and i'm sure you will see a lot that i've done right there and i'm still going to do more so yeah for this one you can see we're just basically hitting the one like one two three four then one two three then one so basically hitting the one the one and the third one then we back to the one again then we hit the three also when it comes to the beats and bars so that's what the first one sounds like if you want to get that low j feel two three four one two three then come back to the next chord then go back you understand one for the la so then do then fa you understand so like the these four bar right here they are going to share each beat one two three four then one of these takes the four beats then you know simple as that because four beats makes a bar two three four one two one two one two three four one two so you get it so that's basically what the first rhythm sounds like and you know, if you want to get that low j kind of vibe and the second one i'm going to be showing you guys is basically using three chord progression and for this one um it's like when you want to get out joe boy vibe and our advice if you're going to use this it's just basically going to be using a guitar for this and it is just the same chord progression the normal fa so la let me play that so you you have an understanding that number The normal one so we just broke it down like make it look like you're playing a guitar so this is like a second rhythm that you can use to make your beat and this one starts with the major chord So it's just like when you are still playing the normal fa, normal fa or la chord. What we just did was to break it down, like you understand. So we're just basically breaking it, basically breaking the chords and playing them like an arpeggio, and we get this. And also another way you can also do this is to play same thing, but this time around let the two chord hit together. So instead of doing that, you can just um, do this instead. You can just do. You understand? Instead of making the third chord to do the arpeggio stuff, you can just do, break it. You understand? We hit it together. So let me show you what that should sound like. See what that sounds like? And this works best on the fast solar chord progression and you can also try to experiment i'm only showing you rhythms you understand so you can just in your own way, time try to bring out different chords and this particular second one i showed is for a three chord progression right so you can just go back and just try to practice and you know 
play different three chord progression and see how you can play around and get that so for the second one this is for like Cade Gyaki chord progression and this is basically using five chords like let's see what that sounds like so this time around this one if you notice why hitting on each bar you understand so la re so do me you understand so we're just hitting on the bar on the bar itself so we have a separate chord here another chord here another chord here and this last one they are sharing the two beats the two beats you know this one is giving like that passing chord passing notes um yeah You see what that sounds like basically so you can use this to get that Cade Gyaki kind of feel like I said don't just copy and paste what I'm showing you just listen to the rhythm that I'm showing you and try to come up with different chords for this one you can use you can still make use of um you can still make use of just four chords for this though it's not compulsory you add in that passing note So yeah, adding this actually makes the listener know that okay, you're going back to the first chord. So it's like a passing chord, if I can say that. Well, you can see they're all hitting on the bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. So it's just this last one that does one, two, three. So it's just this last one that is hitting on the one and on the three. So you understand. Um, like I said, don't just copy this. I'm just basically showing you rhythms. Someone requested for this, and that's why I'm doing this. So, um, so for this one, um, this is like a laid back kind of chord progression, and it's just basically playing fa, la, so, do. So this is like a four chord progression, and this is what it sounds like. It's a three chord progression, sorry. What we just did was to change this one and we introduce a new chord for the passing chord in the second part just to make it different and unique, you understand? So we just basically use a fa la so. Then for this last one, we added a do to it. And please, if you are confused with the fa la so that I'm saying, like I said, click on my channel, go on my music theory playlist and watch my music theory video that I have laid down for you guys. And this one, if you notice, this first chord, second chord, this chord, this chord, they are all hitting on the bar, while all these ones are hitting on the all beats of the whole bar. So one, two, three, four. You see, it's coming before the fourth beat. You understand? So it's like a, like when you vamp, hitting on the all beats. Bam, 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 bam. Laid back, hit it up laid back you understand go up come down so that rhythm is that groove afro beat is all about group afro piano is all about groove so that groove is what you want to get i hope you understand what i'm saying so listen to this rhythm one more time so that's what that rhythm actually sounds like so yeah, the last one I'm going to be showing you guys sounds just like this. And this is like a must know um, chord rhythm for ama piano, afro piano. Like I feel like this one is compulsory for everybody to know. So if you watch the video up to this part, I think this is a compulsory. So this is just basically playing the fast, so last, so just a three chord progression. And this last chord, what we are just doing is playing this second chord, repeating it again. So. So you can see this one is hitting on the one, one, two, three. This one hitting on the all beats. Mm, mm, this one is hitting on the one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. You see? One, two, three. 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 
one, two, three. So you see what I'm saying? The, the main ones, the main chords, they are hitting on the one. That is our fa is hitting on the one. Then the so is hitting on the up beat. The la is hitting on the one. Then the so is hitting on the up beat. So basically, the so chord is always hitting on the up beat, while the la is bringing it back to the relaxed state. So that's what this last rhythm sounds like. I'm going to play it one more time. So I think this is like a more snow rhythm for Ama Piano, Afro Piano. So I'm going to play one more time from the top. This is what the first rhythm sounds like to get that Victoni Loge kind of vibe. You can see I'm using an E piano for that as well. So yeah, this is the second one to get that um, Joe Boy kind of vibe. And I advise, like I said, you use a guitar for this. And this is just basically the simple fast or la chord progression that everybody knows. We just broke them down. Play them like you're playing a guitar. So that's what that sounds like. And this other one is like Kate's and Gyaki song. And this one, they are just basically hitting on the one, one, one of each bar. And it's just the last one that is sharing two, two beats. So. Back to the one. And also while you're listening to this, also pay attention to the drums because the drum pattern for each of these chord progression also matters. That you know the drum pattern is what suits this chord progression. And you can use any of these chord rhythm for any key, even if you want to use same chord progression. But try to be creative. I'm only giving you rhythm, like I said. So yeah, this is the fourth one. So this one has to be a little bit down and you see even the BPM matters as well because this is a more relaxed rhythm for the chords. For like, let me see what it's going to sound like when we put it on the long lizard. see how relaxed it is. this is like when you're giving that afro soul kind of vibe and yeah for this last one like i said it's like emotional um rhythm for ama piano afro piano and you will hear this a lot of times in many afro piano beats That's just basically a simple video showing you guys some chord rhythms. And if you need more chord rhythms, more chord progression, more music theory, please let me know in the comment section and I'll do it to make a video. And the guy that asked me to do this as well, I hope you watch the video to the end and drop a comment and tell me if this was helpful and if you need more, more chord rhythm. And if you also haven't watched the first service, the first episode that I did, make sure you click on the link um, above and yeah. Catch you guys in the next video. Remember to always stay positive no matter what. Peace.